Hallelujah. Let Lord Jesus Christ shine forth. Good afternoon, everyone, or I think good afternoon or good lunch time, <laughs> wherever you are joining us. Welcome to another live stream with DCCI. And today, actually, before that, can I just say I'm sorry that we are running behind the schedule for 11 minutes. Uh, there is kind of breakup. I think there is another messy breakup is about to take place between DCCI and some other organizations. Just need to handle that. But I think now we are back. So I have on the Skype Appas from Speakers Corner. Hello, Appas. Um, can I get quick sound check for Appas? And then once that is confirmed, uh, we will just get on uh, with the day. So plan is we just have 10 minutes of asking each other question in a sense. Also, we cross examine with each other's answer. Um, after that, we will take um, your questions and then hopefully we will finish before everyone misses the lunchtime if you are in England. So for sound check up us, can you just quickly tell us who you are and what you do stuff? Approximate, give approximate 30 seconds because that will be the time where people get to um, hear the sound and I, confirm it. You break up. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. There was some, you, you just froze, your screen froze. Can you hear me? Okay, now, yeah, my name is Aga Abbas. Uh, I'm a Muslim, uh, a student of uh, um, interreligious studies. I like to learn about Bible and the Quran. I'm just a uh, layman, to be honest, uh, still learning. Uh, and like to in the dialogues uh, with Christians mostly, and sometimes with Jews, uh, for the sake of truth. Okay, so... Um... Can I get quick? Yes, sound is good. Thank you very much, son. So, um, what we kind of thought we will do is Appas have a question for me. I will answer his question within 10 minutes in the cross examination style. After that, I will ask him question that will take 10 minutes. So, go for it, Appas. Oh, sorry, I need to keep the timing. I will be keeping timing as well. Um, Okay. Just, just a second. Okay. When you are ready, go. Okay. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salam wa ala Muhammad al Praise to be to the Allah, Lord of the worlds. And peace be on Muhammad, the trustworthy. Uh, yes, well, um, basically, I um, would like to ask more questions, but okay, we have time for only one. So, uh, it's actually from last time we were talking about justice. For me, as a Muslim, this is very important. And my God is supposed to be just. Everybody believes that God is supposed to be just. But when I read Bible, Bible tells us that God um, like just, you know, we read in Deuteronomy, God is just, um, and even 32.4. But when I read Bible, um, there are passages which for example, in Acts um, 21.4, uh, Exodus 34.7, when God says he has love for us. Um, let me read the passage, actually, sorry. Sorry, I going to open it. And I might go 10 minutes, but I, I need to make my point here. Give the, can you give the reference again? Yes. Deuteronomy 34, verse 7. And I'll read the passage. It says, sorry, sorry Exodus. I'm sorry, 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 Hatan, sorry. <laughs> Exodus, no, not a very good start. 34, verse 7. And it says, talking about the God's Love and said, um, it says, keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving, forgiving iniquity and transgression for sin, but who will no means clear the guilt, guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generation. 
same thing is said in, in Exodus 20 verse 5. Um, so, um, and there are many places like the story of Asha, his sons and daughters were killed because of Asha, Joshua 7, 24 to 25. Um, then also, I'm, I'm, I'm just giving the passages. So, so it's all the same about justice and injustice. Deuteronomy 23 verse 2, bastard will not enter uh, up to the 10th generation. The point here is, just God, why would he punish the children after generation after generation for the sins of the parents? That's my basic question is, if God is just, why he didn't, don't, don't just punish the sinner rather than their children? That's my basic question to you. Okay, so um, you have a problem that in Exodus chapter 20, verse 5, and in Exodus chapter 34, verse 7, that God is punishing people's children because, or generations, because the children of, because the sins of the father. That's right, yes. Okay. Um, can you be extra kind and then tell me what is the context of Exodus chapter 20 and Exodus chapter 34? Uh, Ten Commandments, Exodus um, chapter 20 is the Ten Commandments. Okay. And I think you should know better the context. You tell me what the context is. My question is to you. You don't ask me a question. Okay, I just wanted to know um, um, if you kind of know the context. Can you also help me to understand where is God speaking, who is God speaking to? You're asking me questions. I think you need to tell me why this is the case. You explain to me what is I'm the just, case. You don't ask I'm me a question. I'm just trying to find out. What is the context of Exodus chapter 20? So are you aware, are you aware in Exodus chapter 20 where Israelites in chapter 19, where Israelites saw God, okay? And then in 20, God is giving the commandments to the Israelites and saying, those are the covenants, those are the rules and regulations I want you to follow up. Are you up for it? And then people say, yes. So that's Exodus chapter 19 to 20. If you read it, that's kind of whole over... Con, con, uh, no, no, no. My question is, whole, it doesn't matter what the context that's is. Whole the over is the con why, that's whole over why, the context. Why, why, I'm just going to answer the question. Can I get time to answer the question? Thank you. So when you come to the chapter 20, verse 5, you shall not bow down to them, bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord your God, am... I am jealous, God, punishing the children for the sins of the fathers of the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. So God is saying, God is saying, now I'm giving you the law and according to this law, I want you to do not take idols and worship idols as a, fa as a father, as a mother. Once you do uh, that, Hadona, Hadona, your Hadona, children, you don't have enough time. I don't, your I don't, children to say, are I don't going to, to do that I don't as want to be well. Rude. I don't want to be rude. I don't want your lecture here. You are giving me lecture here. And we only have 10 minutes, remember. So my point here is, why a parent sin, the children has to pay for it. If God is not saying that. If anybody do this sin, I'm going to uh, punish that person. God is saying, if you do the sin, the parents, I will visit the iniquities of, to the children. What children has to do with it? What about a child is a very good child, is, is, is a law-abiding child. But the law is already made for that. And on, don't forget the uh, answer the question about why a bastard child who, who has not, nothing wrong done by himself, his parents have slept before marriage, why that bastard child and his 10th generation cannot enter the assembly of the law? Please so address you that point you, as well. You gave me five verses. I'm trying to deal with them by one one. That's the first point. Second point is, I'm trying to, I already answered Exodus chapter 20, verse 5. I think you did not listen. I said it is talking in the context of adultery. Once you worship someone alongside of God, that you are going to pass that custom traditions is, to it. your children. I got that. Children. I got that. I I got that. Okay. But why if you got children, that, are I... you agreeing that you are misrepresenting the scripture? No, then? no, no, of course not. You're completely misunderstanding it and you're trying to twist here. The point here is, he says, if the parents do, God will visit the iniquity to the children. What children has to go for the children is already written by God. You do it, your children, I will visit your uh, iniquities to the children. Why children have to be involved in that? But the children has nothing to do with it. It's not saying 
when you do it, you know your your children will do that as well. He's not saying that. Forget about that. We don't have enough time. Answer the question about Joshua 7, 24, uh, sorry, uh, um, yeah, uh, Deuteronomy 23, verse 2. Bastard, not welcome up to 10th generation in the assembly of the Lord. Deuteron Why? Deuteronomy? 23, verse 2. The worst one is more funnier before that as well. The man okay. doesn't have a private so, part, can't enter the assembly of the law. So why up to 10th generation, a bastard? What's the fault of a bastard? Okay, so first of all, I'm not going to miss the chapter 20, verse 5. In the intention, God is already expressing his love and his compassion. In verse 6 and in verse 5, he simply says, If you worship someone else beside me, that is going to pass on your children. They are going to take that example don't okay, do that. You're taking too much I, time on that. I you will got be that. keeping it doesn't say you that. I completely and disagree with you. That's that's absolutely fine. I will keep you and your children accountable for that. That's the chapter. But children has nothing to do with five. it. Five. That's according to you. That's not according to my scripture. Uh, exactly Deuteronomy chapter to twenty-three, verse two. Bastard will not enter the assembly of the Lord up to tenth generation. Question is, what a bastard has to do with it? What about a child who born out of wedlock? He's a very good human being. But his 10th generation will not enter the assembly of the Lord. Why? Hmm, that's a bit interesting. You already think child is a very good person. According to you, according to Christian scripture, we are all imputed to sin. That's first point. Second point is God already made a covenant with Israelites. You can read all the details in the Leviticus and even since Exodus chapter 20. And one of those laws in that was you can, you cannot have sex outside of marriage so that goes against god's no, law no 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 you're misunderstanding that what about a child who born out of wedlock okay but he got married or she got married and their children got married and they're all good people but god says no up to where the does it generation, say you will not enter the where does it of the say Lord. they're all good people up us it doesn't say they're so, all so good you are, people so so you are saying according to the bible a bastard or his 10th generation all are bad people they cannot never no, be good. I, i'm That's not what you saying, saying that i'm saying we are all sinners there is no good people bad people we are all sinners except lord jesus the, christ the, i'm not talking about In, that i'm talking about this particular passage is talking about you are not child, you are not talking born out of the Apas, you are where more than me you are not talking about that passage because you are already putting talking, your input no I'm one talking born, about this passage i'm not talking about anything i'm talking about this passage says that the bastard is not welcome up to the 10th generation it's not talking about human where are human they not welcome are where are they not welcome Assembly what, of the what Lord. What is the assembly like, of the Lord? Like, like, like a priesthood. They do their ceremonial things. They are not allowed to be in there. So, they cannot be part of that. Okay, so my question is where, why? where is that? I'm asking, I'm just trying to understand. Where is that ceremony takes place? In the synagogues, isn't it? Is it in the synagogue? In synagogues? the temple. In the temple. Who is in, in, who, in who is in that temple? Your time is uh, up. I think it's a, I think yeah, so you you ask me questions. It's supposed to be me. You are supposed to answer, not ask questions. I am Come answering on, your ask. question by asking you question because clearly you did not understand no, that passage. No, you don't. You have to answer me the reason why God says that. Anyway, ten minutes. I don't think ten minutes was enough. Okay, never mind. That's fine. We manage it somehow. So, you have a problem with the justice of God. The God of the Bible. So, Not with God. Yeah. Um, first of all, I love to express that uh, Quran doesn't have any problem with that. But can you please go to the Quran and then explain for me mm -hmm. this poor innocent child of Surah 18? Oh, okay. Yes. What about that? I love to know why you're just God. Not only. Uh, Get rid, gets rid of this innocent child with, with knowing, oh, or thinking, oh, he's going to become apostate in the future, and then gets rid of the child. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't start with the timing. Yeah. I'll, Three I'll, minutes already gone. I'll start with seven minutes, okay? Just a moment. Sorry. No, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. It wasn't seven minutes. That's all right. You start with ten minutes. Don't, don't worry about that. No, I'm starting from eight minutes. So, okay. um, yes, uh, since you have a problem with the justice of God, can you please be kind and explain to me Surah 18, verse 74 and verse 80. Would you like me to read it? Yeah, go on. 
So they set out until when they met a boy. He killed him. Moses said, Have you killed a pure, pure soul for other than a soul? You have certainly done a deprovable thing. Verse 18. And as for the boy, his parents were believers, and we fear that he would overburden them by uh, transgender, uh, by sinning and disbelieving. So the child was killed, and Allah is quite happy with that. What do you think about this, Abbas? Because I don't get to read Allah is condemning Moses, and this is eternal. Uh, no, Allah. no, no. Uh, this is a, an exceptional case, and it's not general like Bible. Bible make a general case, but this is an exceptional case. This exception here is it says the Quran it says that that child later on when the Khidr explained to Moses that child that child will take his parents away. That from child the that child is innocent according to you. That child is been part of the sins. He didn't even live enough to do it. So who knew? Did Moses knew this child is going to become disbeliever? Of course not. That's no, why Moses, Moses didn't know. Lesson was for Mo Moses this didn't lesson know. Was who, for knew, Moses. who knew this child is going to become disbeliever? And how come being dis becoming disbeliever is a sin for you to be killed? So you don't believe it's in not, Allah. Why should you be killed? No, no, it's not about him, him being disbelievers. I think if you read further down in the passage of the same uh, Quran, later on when he answered, that he was going to take his parents away from the from the right belief. He would so, overburden them by sinning and disbelieving. So that's what it says. So, what was child that, hasn't, what? verse 80, child hasn't done this. Your Allah is quite happy for innocent child to be killed. Mm. So that's first yeah, point. The, Second as point is, since, since we are talking about Allah to kill the innocent, Allah isn't this Allah who is so just, who is so just. Um, he, uh, which one should I go? Uh, gets rid of the, uh, with the Noah flood, with the load, and with the uh, ad in, um, destroys the cities and the people. In those cities, there are babies and innocent children. Can you just explain me how does this make Allah justice? I'm talking about the story of Noah, story of Lot. Okay, first of all, I did uh, say that, I think you didn't let me finish my answer. Uh, the, the boy's case was exceptional case. It was not a general case like in the Bible. And as far what, as excuse me, excuse me, not like in the that, Bible. Where is in the Bible someone, where is in the Bible someone who is going to be killed with the sins hasn't done in the intention of, oh, in the future you are going to become a disbeliever. You mean those all those nations, uh, the Adamites or the the king of Hisham? No, uh, the old no, I don't. When God you, says, you know better God than says, me. God you know says, that better than me. That's not the case. So now, God, Allah, told, God told David, "Do not leave anybody to breathe." Joshua, don't leave anybody to breathe. Meaning nobody to breathe. So there, in the Bible, there are many many cases. The children, donkeys, even everybody was slaughtered for the sins of their is, parents. That is simply so butchering don't, don't, don't of that is simply butchering of my scripture. Of course um, not. I will explain, I will explain that in the question and answer time. So can you please explain me? Why did hmm. Allah, your just Allah, who is so just, killed those babies and children and the animals in the flood of Noah, in the destruction okay. of the Lot? Okay, the, you see the story same is in the Bible. That's why I didn't pick that, that from the Bible. But uh, we that's know not my question, the... Abbas. Why did Amma... Allah, who practiced justice on those babies, because the majority of people, there was a majority of people were sinners there. Yeah, so the majority of people, Allah destroyed them. And among them, of course, innocent people died. But Allah didn't go after the innocent people. The people of Lord, people of Noah, the world was majority, they were sinners. So Allah, so Allah, so Allah destroyed, didn't know Allah those babies them. who just born two days ago. Allah didn't know these lovely lambs, lovely dogs who are just born. Allah didn't know and couldn't separate them from the sinners. I Therefore, that. Allah I, I, was quite okay to practice his justice, unjustice on those babies. I, I didn't say that. Allah knew everything. Uh, but Allah, uh, as I said, they destroy the population who were sinners. And among them, they were, of course, innocent. And they will go to paradise, of course. It was just okay. child where, where, is, dies, where does it say it, Where does it say it's going to go to paradise? Or, where does it say the um, people who got destroyed in the... Lot, uh, event of the lot is going to go to paradise. 
it, it doesn't say that. Uh, this it, is the okay, so Quran, do, Quran if, doesn't if, if say that. And then Allah just innocent, kills this on... Allah just practice if, justice and kills those children. If, if you, and that if you is the issue you have with the Christian this, scripture. Hmm. This is the general principle of Islam. And uh, there's, we don't have enough time, but I can find many general principles, even our hadith as well, that a totally, completely innocent person uh, is not going to be punished. It's not going to be punished. So for them... So the that might be die, the principle, but that's not the Quran speaks of. So you don't have any reference from the Quran that you can give it to me. If that is the, just the exception, can you just go back to the Surah 18 and give me the reference that those um, pure soul which has been killed is going to go to paradise? Is it going to go well, to paradise? Uh, depend how old that boy was. We don't have an age of that boy in this uh, in passage. Depend if that boy was 12 or 13, he already probably committed sins. So there is no so such age, thing about this age, boy. Age is, What's going to happen age, to this boy? Age needs to be 12 for those boys. To, so we don't know the boy which has been killed unjustly by um, uh, by Islamic script, guide of Islam in Surah, Surah 18, 74 to 80. We don't know he's going to go to paradise, but we would know if we knew his age. Is that correct? Uh, because we know in Islam, if you are old enough, for example, if you're for the age of 10, you're supposed to where, do salah. Is that? And you have to do can fast. You please point you me, do can fast. you please point me the Quranic verse for that? That... Innocent that, child, which was killed, uh, that if, let's say, sake of the argument, he was 11, let's say, sake of the argument, he was 12. Where is the Quranic passage talks about this 12 years old child is going to go to paradise? I was answering your question. So you say with a 12 year old can go, not going to go paradise. I'm telling you in Islam, if you are a pu reach puberty, age of puberty, you have to do. Okay. If, if this guy was, if this child was five years old. Where is, where is that age limit in the Quran? Because you do have hadiths which talks about babies are not promised to paradise. I'm going to bring those hadiths and then you are going to simply say, oh, butcher the hadiths. You are butcher. Therefore, no, yes, you are. Therefore, therefore, please give me the Quranic reference regarding the age limit for those innocent child. You can never bring a single hadith which say babies are not going to go paradise. I do right now. The hadith you're reading is I, I will, I will that, I will that turn into question times, but can you please yeah. give me the age limit from the uh, Quran that, the, let's say, sake of the ch um, argument, we are going to make this boy um, age five, and he's been killed by unjust Allah, yet he's going to get to paradise. You are playing ignorance here. You know exactly what the Sharia law says and what the principle of Islam is. If you reach the age of puberty, you just and you don't. Obviously, you uh, can. I'm so, talking so, about the so, child. I'm talking about the child which has been killed by unjust Allah in Surah Surah 18. Hit on the wrong path. That's why he was killed. And I told you, you, you said you said the people, the children who were killed in the story of the Lord. They are innocent, they will go to pa Islamic paradise. I am asking the same question for the child who was innocent in Surah 18. Is he going to go to paradise? Uh, if he committed any sin, yes, up. Alhamdulillah, he will Time is up. go to paradise. Because he was going to take his parents on the wrong path. So as I said, it was an exceptional case, not a general case. You can never find that general case. Okay, so I'm going to rebuttal that, but... Um, Time is up. What I'm going to do is you, now, I'm going to, you've got access to chat as well on, um, on YouTube, Appas. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So feel free to pick up the questions that you want to ask or you want to answer. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up questions from this side as well. And then we will take a couple of questions. Um, so, uh, please, those of you who are joining us in chat, be aware, I didn't keep eye on the chats. From now on, I'm seeing the chat, and first thing I'm seeing by Andrew Martin. So, anyone after writes after this, we will be, I will have access to the, your questions. So, if you have questions, please put add sign in front of DCCI Ministries, and then I will take it from there. Appas, if you see questions, please feel free to um, feel free to just jump on it. 
I'm not expecting any question for you for some reason. I don't know. I'm psychic. Huh. Please, somebody ask question to Hatun as well. Because this is not a, not a Muslim question time, to be honest. Okay, is the question. So, Abbas, you will be able to see the questions on the YouTube 20 seconds after I put up here, okay? So, I don't know if this question is for me or for you. Um, you answer if you take it, and then after that, I will take it. And then, second question is on the line already. Um, uh, yeah. Babies, do, what do babies do in paradise with 72 virgins? I guess this links with the uh, the babies which were killed in the story of Lot. Um, okay, that that question is answer is simple. Um, in Islam, uh, it's in the Hadith that everybody in paradise will be same age, so there will be no babies. The one who died at the age of ninety or hundred or nine hundred will be same age as the one who died as a baby. So Allah will give because we are all soul this life is just temporary life we entered our souls so everybody will be returned at the same age so there will be no babies there my mother and my father will be same age as me inshallah hmm. Hmm. so okay. that's a simple, simple I'll just, answer to the i'll question. just add to that with that logic i think we will all put together those babies will be enjoying the virgins in islamic paradise at similar adult in the adult age do you have any evidence for that are you making a big claim how and are they not going to get the 72 virgins? That will be shame for babies. Who? who? I, I, I corrected you last okay, time. Okay, so here's the next Fancy question. Hadith he... for 72 virgins. Say Hadith for virgins. Yeah, yeah. So I the... have a question for you. There's a question for you here. Okay, I put one on the screen, but... Um... Ad Adnan al-Shahir asked a question. He said, my question to Hatun is, does God in Christianity love you more than his son? Yeah, that's the a question I put on the screen. Okay, all right. Okay. So the question is, sorry, question is, does God in the Christianity love you more than his son? A loving father will sacrifice himself, not his son. Does he love himself more than his son? So first answering the first part of the Christian uh, question is, God of Christianity, triune God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit, loves me as much as he loves his son that's the john gospel because loves because uh, love of son and the work of son on the cross and what the son did for me enables me to be loved by god the father as much as god the son is being loved Second part of the question, a loving father will sacrifice himself, not his son. I am assuming this, I think this is the Muslim from Malaysia. I am assuming you already so far acknowledging that, yes, Lord Jesus Christ has been sacrificed for the sin of humanity on the cross. Thank you for going against Islam. Um, not really, actually. Father did not sacrifice himself. Lord Jesus Christ gave himself once for all he becomes our sacrificial lamb so therefore i would encourage you to simply read the christian scripture and um, christian scripture makes it very clear father loves the son from the before the foundation of the world i think uh, uh, can i say something on that you've got i think 30 seconds to respond i'm going to just first part of the question does god in christianity love you more than I would say, of course not. Uh, not only love, God's you you are not for him not as good as a friend. Psalms 25 verse 14 says, "The friendship friendship of the Lord is for those who fear Him." So if you fear Him, then maximum He's going to do is to, to be a friend of you. Love is far away from that. So if I uh, don't fear God, He's going to be hate me. He's going to destroy me according to Deuteronomy. 7 10, 10 he hate, he will destroy those who hate him so no his love is very conditional even friendship is very conditional um so, that uh, that is not what the christian scripture teaches but i think I, that can be another time for us to engage on the topic please please people beware that's not what the christian scripture teaches so um <laughs> you're answering, answering the same question 
No, because you made intentional faults. Um, you do that all the time. And you tell us not to speak because now that's not fair. Sorry, I'm picking up. I'm going through to see the questions. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I didn't see as well. Okay, fair enough. Okay, here's the question. Sorry, that's just not linked with our topic. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's better to just, uh, stick on topic. I'm not a scholar. I'm, you know, very limited knowledge. So, please. Um, there's a question on babies die and instant instantly, like soon after that, gets virgins with big boobs and eternal eternal sex. Well, that's a very loaded question with a lot of uh, false implications. Babies die virgins. Seventy. First of all, um, this hadith about seventy-two virgins. I, uh, I, I actually challenge you. Uh, last time, show in the Sahih hadith. There's no. It's, it's either Hassan Hadith or either the weak Hadith, which says about 72 virgins. Yes, Quran did say you will have virgins there. Well, what virgin means here? The one who no one ever touched before. That's what you mean, virgin. It's not always have to be sexualized things. It means they are pure. Nobody ever seen them before. Nobody met them before. That's what it means. And about the big boobs, there's always a misconception. Allah is talking, promising you about big boobs. You know that particular verse talking about big boobs is actually indicating. If you see the, the verse, I, I don't remember the verse here right now, but I remember on my, my head. It's talking about the age. They will be equal age with voluptuous big breasts. Meaning they were, not, they were not children. What is what's the difference between a child and, and a woman? The woman has a proper breast and the child doesn't. So he's talking about a, you, they will be equal age people and the women will be uh, voluptuous breast, meaning they are grown up women and not young little girls. That was the whole context about that. It's not talking about sexualizing things. It's just talking about their age. They will be grown up women. That's what it means. So that was the simple um, interpretation of uh, 21st, 21st century um, Abbas speakers corner tafsir. According to Quran, Allah actually uses t talks about big breasts. So Allah versus um, Abbas, you make your choice. Um, no, it's not. For Abbas, have you read Ezekiel 18? Do you understand that God reveals his heart in increasing clarity down through time? Um, is he talking about uh, uh, the passage, the father does not follow the sins of the child, the children doesn't um, follow the sins of the father? Is that what he means? Ezekiel 18? I'm not getting uh, Look, I'm not taught well versed in the Bible like as you think, but uh, I, I need to be reminded what he means. No, actually, I know, I know you are not well versed in the Bible. There is lots of evidence we saw. <laughs> we just saw what... Uh, that's nice, nice little touch up. Okay, uh, what is he talking about? Uh, it's talking about the righteous, isn't it? Yes, the father will not carry the sins of the. That's the point, you know. The Ezekiel 18 says that the father will not carry the sins. Uh, son doesn't carry the sins of the. So why Bible saying again and again, iniquity of the parents will be followed to the children, and the bastard will not enter up to tenth generation. That's a contradiction. So um. Just to respond to that, I think this is a couple of times you've been mentioning the same thing, just for your information. Uh, meeting, meeting point of the temple is a holy place where only certain people are allowed and those people who already seen the uh, revelation God has given to them with the lots of rules and principles. Please lead beginning of Rev Leviticus. It will help you with that and it will help you to not use such an argument in the future because it just destroys what um, what um, Christian scripture is teaching the way you you are interpreting. Um, question oh, that's is... A question from Netherverse. Yeah, it's on the screen. Yeah. Okay, that's again Can you read the uh, what question? that means. Is this why there are baby baby wives in Islam? I think There's that's no in, baby surah, wives in, in Surah uh, 56 or 57, where it talks about immortal boys, which... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The boys, yeah. So, um, 
the again misunderstanding of course uh, my christian brothers and sisters bless them may allah show them the light they 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 they, they think so wrong about everything taking a negativity that's what allah says in the quran those who have illness in their heart will find the interpretation they like to understand uh first of all who are these boys they are not human beings they are creatures made for paradise what is your reference never... for that appas Well, those boys are not human beings. But what is course. your reference for that? Because it doesn't okay, identify as them not human beings. Allah uses boys. So Allah didn't know. Okay. Allah had a word for huris, but Allah didn't have word for those boys. What is the reference? Chapter f- what? Verse, sorry. I think it was 17. There will be circulate among them young boys made eternal. With vessels yeah, immortal boys. With vessels and from... Okay. So how did you get the information there, like like who is version of man? Yeah, it's not men. It's a little uh, uh, boys who so will who be serving. So who is version of little boys? Where, where did you get that information? It's it, it's not it's not who is version. Why, why are you saying who is version? There's just another existence of a beings made made that in paradise. So okay, the, if you those into... while Allah says boys. who are going to be immortal you are saying actually allah failed with his communications because allah was meaning he's going to put heavenly servants who are not going to believe hmm. look it's not allah fails it's us people making a wrong interpretation when jesus says hate your father and your mother does he fail to say actually he doesn't mean hate he means love them less because that's what the christian says us look for in 26 which christian hey, says that father. that's different topic but i love to know which christian says that no, because there well, is a I'm misinterpretation just you an example, many times many times god there are, says there are verses in christian scripture where god of bible hates individuals because of their sins that is so very well that, that is very well known christian scripture so now so you can you that? respond you to hate your parents question Can you respond to the Nada's question? No, but but if you answer me, then I have to. Re- no, no. Like I'm happy to have those discussions, but I just want you to respond to the question. Okay, I think Appas's internet is. Are you there, Appas? Okay, I. Appas is frozen. <laughs> Um okay um yes I love to know about those ba- those baby ba- wives but anyway we will probably have up us back in a minute let me go through other questions um I think Rias that is not kind of link this question is not linked with the topic we are discussing we are more focusing on justice of god okay i lost appas officially from skype so i'm assuming he will be back in a second until he gets back um on the screen we do have um we do have islam critics question peace of christ be with you brother and then i'll go down and then see if there are any questions but let me just while Appas comes just for the sake of the Christians um, in Deuteron- um, Exodus chapter 20 so in if you read it from verse chapter 19 you get to see um, God is speaking to Moses and then he's coming down and speaking to the Israelites and he's making a covenant he says if you worship idols he is the Um, he's the consequences of that if you do that he's the consequences of that and then when you come I think um, I'm not sure if it's beginning of chapter 21 or is it still in chapter 20 we get to see Israelites saying okay to this covenant which made between God and Israelites so therefore like both of them said okay to this um laws which made between one of them i i don't think like there is any place for me to just question that and in if you look more in more details when you see um let me just drop message to abbas to make sure he comes back um and when you look at the um 
when you look at the, if you see a family who is worshiping um, golden calf, who is been worshiping, um, I don't know, stone, like it, just look at simple example of Islam. People saw pagans were worshiping black stone and then Muhammad takes part and then worship black stone. And today all Muslim world does the same thing. So you see what your parents does. Therefore, that becomes part of your custom. And in Exodus account, God says, I don't want that. I love you. I care for you. I've got everlasting for you. But once you do that, there are the consequences. You've got to deal with it. And just another side note. Um, it was clear that Abbas didn't know the context. But another side note is um, that is for Israelites for that time while they are in the land of Israelites, in, in, in that land where they are kind of trying to um, be a blessing to the, they're supposed to be blessing to the other nations. Um, okay, Abbas is back. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello, Abbas. Can you see me? I, can, I can't see you. I am hearing. You see me now? Yes, your sound changed. What did you do with Thank the you. sound? I, I don't know. Uh, is, is it good? Nothing really. Uh, it's just some um, loss of connection on Wi Fi or something. Okay, reason. that's fine. Uh, so, was a hitch. sorry about that. That's fine. What we will do is we will take the last question, which I already put on the screen, okay? So this is from Islam Critic. Are, are you able to see YouTube? Why? Uh, Why is Abbas? That's my laptop's come out coming slow. Uh, no, go on read it. Why is Abbas? So question is why is Abbas appealing to concept like innocence? The Quran and Hadith are yeah. clear. Allah guides some and sends other others astray. This is the uh, determined before your birth. So that means in Surah 18, when that innocent child which was killed was already identified as innocent, guided or not guided. Allah is already decided that, that. So there is something happened that innocent child being killed by unjust Allah. So you can see the question on the screen. Are you able to see the question on the screen? Well, the first thing here when you say that not I don't know how my job is uh, okay. the YouTube video is still struggling to watch that. I'm using my iPad here. Okay. Um, Abbas? There's a, a Abbas? question. Abbas? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, if that's okay with you, it seems your Wi-Fi is not strong. If you turn off your uh, camera, that might help. And then we see if that's help. Okay. Because this is the last question we will take. Can you speak now? Yeah. Can you, yeah. Can you hear me? It's a little bit better, but not as good as it's supposed to be. Okay, that's fine. So, are you able to answer question well, from Islam no. Critic? Okay, so there's a false implication here uh, about the justice of God. Justice of when, if you want to understand something about some particular topic about any scripture, about let's say about justice, you need to understand intertextually and not just pick and choose some verses. So, if you look as a whole in the Quran, this is a clear justice, especially guidance. Talk about the guidance here. So, like for example, I'm going to read a couple of verses if you don't mind to make my point. Like chapter uh, three, verse eighty-six, is clearly Allah says, "How shall Allah guide a people who disbelieve after they believe?" So you don't believe the witness. predestination. Let me let me uh, finish the verse. Uh, let me finish the verse. I'm talking about guidance here and not non guidance. That's a different question altogether. Predestination. He's talking about yeah. Before they were born, they were predestined. People were predestined to be guided or not guided. People were predestined for hell. Pre people were predestined for paradise. I'm, I'm really surprised that this question is coming from a Christian because Psalms 110 verse 1 clearly says that they're born the wicked from the wombs of their mothers. I mean, uh, this is... No, this uh, question is coming you, because you, you identify... Uh, you, you've been using the word innocent. Therefore, the person is questioning you. No, the, he also says about... It is guidance. questioning the theology you have. 
I was answering the question he says about the guidance. Didn't he talk about the guidance? The God, God, God doesn't guide people. This is like God already decided for not to guide them. So I'm, I'm just clearing that misconception that many people have. The God, the whole Quran is clear which people Allah guides and which doesn't. So you need to understand the Quran holistically and not just pick and choose. Like I was just reading, let me finish the verse. Chapter 3, verse um, 86 says, How shall Allah guide the people who disbelieve after they believe? And had witnessed that the messenger is true and clear signs had come to them. And Allah does not guide the wrongdoing people. There are plenty of verses. Uh, I can read it to you if you want. Allah clearly makes sure but explains that which kind of a people Allah guide. It's not like just Allah chooses not to guide. It's just the bad people, the wrongdoing people, the liars, the deceptive people Allah does not guide. But the other people Allah guide, the good people Allah will guide, they will be guided. A group he guided and a group he des uh, des they deserve error. Chapter 7 verse 30 says that they, they deserve error, some people. So Allah Allah is not unjust in who he guided who doesn't know. Allah gave us free will to choose from right from wrong. And if we choose wrong, Allah will not guide us. He let us astray. Okay. Um, did I miss any part of the question? Um, you yes, you didn't, question you didn't answer the question. That's guidance. absolutely fine. Um, all I can say at this stage is for Brother Islam Critic, I know you are not satisfied with the answer and answer brings you lots of questions, but maybe you can make short sure video about it. <laughs> or teach, teach 21st answer. century um, Abbas Speaker's Corner uh, and then help him to put it into his oh, tafsir. In that question, there was a false implication that Allah does not guide. Allah already decided it. That's a false implication. Allah is already I decided, Abbas, according to the Islamic no. tradition, Abbas. But no, it's not. No, you read the Quran. Quran is our yardstick. It's the highest uh, source, and that Quran is clear. Those people who are good people, they, Allah, they will be guided. Allah will guide them. And those who do, Allah doesn't guide, they doesn't deserve to be guided because Allah knew. There are many passages I can read to you. I don't know. You don't have a time for that. It shows that Allah guide people who deserve and misled people or misguide people who doesn't deserve to be guided. It's clear. Um, that the Bible says that very many things. That I, would, Bible says I, would, I would simply but, say... Uh, your interpretation goes against um, Allah and against Muhammad, but I think we will stop there. I, I am back. Chapter, chapter 39 verse 18, so, 30, chapter 39, verse 18 um, says, Who Abba, listen to Abbas? speech and follow the best of it? Those are the ones Allah has guided and those are people of understanding. Chapter 39 verse 18 again saying that. Allah guides whom he wills to guide to straight part. So, um, the, one of the main reasons Abba, we will... One of the main reasons we will cut it short at this stage because your sound doesn't come that good um, because of the internet connection. That is the I'm main sorry, reason because, because I am aware right now questions are coming in, but we might pick up the topic again and then also go through all the five, chapter, five verses Abbas mentioned as well as maybe uh, have the kind of second part of it and then discuss that if that's we will dis I, I will discuss that with Abbas. But um, in that note, yeah, I, I can see questions are still coming in, but um, I'm afraid we have to kind of stop in here because of I I'm, I can't remember if Abbas said inshallah when he turned on his computer <laughs> because his internet is not helping him at this stage. Uh, I did so bad. Sound is sound is bad from Abbas's side but I, he's trying to say things over there I can I can get that anyway we will probably have the second part of the, this session and then continue with questions on um, I think it will be justice of God of Bible and justice of God of Islam um, let me in that note just say huge thank you for everyone joining us in the middle of the day and I am sorry if that caused you to skip your lunch but we hope to see you again um, Abbas, if you can hear us, do you have like one yes, last 30 seconds um, goodbye thing? Oh, well, okay. thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, yeah, well, uh, as I say, uh, we're just trying to make a point here that uh, to me, when I read the Bible, God of the Bible is definitely not just 
and that's big problem how can god be not be just uh, for me uh, allah is uh, allah is just quran clearly again again say chapter 5 verse 8 chapter 4 verse 135 be just even against your enemies so for me i that's enough reason to reject bible that the god of the bible is a wrathful god is not a loving god okay thank you very much for that quick summary i think um everyone who reads the bible is should be more confident actually where we see um justice of god mercy of god and love of god all meets once for all is at the cross of lord jesus christ um, and if you are not aware of it still that the beauty cross of christ offers the justice the love and mercy cross of christ offered to you please please get hold on the bible read it and then get in touch with the father questions and then we can take it from there in that in that note god bless you all and we see you soon